Hi, I'm Ann Neese, a master's student in the Chicago Botanic Gardens Plant Biology and Conservation Program. I'm going to talk to you today about how to select an orchid. When you go to the garden center and you're wowed by the beauty of an orchid and decide you want to buy one, here are some things you should consider before you make a purchase. So this one here is a dendrobium, and it's a really good buy because it has these two beautiful new growths that will give you flowers next year. You have some lovely flowers that have come up on this stem already, and here on this stem you can see that there are buds, so you're going to have more flowers soon, which means that you're going to have flowers for quite a while. Also, if you look at the leaves are shiny and bright green. The stems, which are also pseudobulbs in this case, are plump and healthy, and you have lots of new roots, indicating that the plant is doing quite well. So this one is a good buy. On the other hand, it is one of the more difficult to care for species in the sense that it does require some extra attention because it's um, very touchy to over and under watering and it requires quite a lot of bright sunlight. This orchid is a Cattleya. This one is pretty large and you're going to need a quite a bit of space for it. On the other hand, it's a much more forgiving orchid to grow. You have these large fleshy pseudobulbs at the base of every leaf that store water so that if you forget to water it, the plant will have no problem surviving. It does require a lot of light also like the previous orchid. And here you can see with the nice big thick fleshy leaves. And it also has nice healthy roots. The green tips on the roots show that they're growing. The final orchid we have here is an intergeneric Oncidium hybrid, which means that it's a cross between an Odontoglossum and Oncidium in this case. This plant has beautiful flowers, as you can see, that have been already open for quite a while. So one way that you can tell if a flower has been open for a while or not is if you take a look at the end of this flower here, you'll see that the cap is missing and that the pollinia are exposed. This is something that the flower does towards the, ends of it, the end of its life cycle to ensure fertilization takes place. So these flowers, on this type of hybrid, these flowers tend to be open for a few weeks. This just indicates that you probably have a week at most before the flowers start to wither and die away. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't purchase this plant. It only means that you would expect to pay a lower price than at the peak blooming period and that you shouldn't expect to have the flowers for much longer. So here you can see there's two strong, healthy new growths that are already quite large. These will both turn into flowering stems next year. So this is another good sign. This is a good, healthy plant. Well-developed new growth means you can expect, you know, good flower production again next year, just like you had this year. And so this plant is still definitely worth buying. Here you can see healthy, fat pseudobulbs, which is also a good indication of plant health, and then nice, healthy white roots that are coming up around the edges of the pot here. So this is an example of an orchid plant that you wouldn't want to purchase. First of all, it's not in flower, so you have no idea what the flowers are going to look like. And even if someone showed you a picture, you don't know that they're actually going to look like the picture. Um, you also have leaves here that are discolored on one side. You can see it's kind of yellowish. And then if you flip it over, you can see brown spots and discoloration and blotchiness. Then you have these black spots and pitting on the leaf here and damage where something's clearly been munching on it. Um, and these are signs that either the plant is virus and or it has an insect infestation. Insect infestations are extremely difficult to get back under control, and viruses, they're not um, curable. So if a plant has a virus, it will continue to produce unpleasant foliage and short-lasting flowers. Another indication that the plant isn't a great purchase is here you can see that the pseudobulbs are shriveled. Some of these ones are actually brown, squishy, which means they're rotting. And the plant isn't secure in its pot. You can just kind of pull on it and it'll come right out. Here you can actually find the insects that are infesting the plants. So here's the first one. And then the other one is here on the stem, this little brown spot at the end of the pencil here. That's actually a scale bug. And they are very difficult to find and get rid of. So you don't want to buy a plant that already has them on it. These ideas that we talked about today should help the new orchid grower choose orchids that will last them for years to come and prove successful in flowering again. We hope that you come join us at the orchid show coming up here at the Chicago Botanic Garden.